Hello and welcome to another player review. Uh, we're going to see the second player release today after Marcelo, which is going to be this player moments uh, Hakim Ziyech from Ajax. Uh, this one is obtained through objectives. Um, a few hard ones in there, but uh, he's going to be there for a while. I think Iniesta was there for uh, was it a few days, uh, so or a week, no less than that, five days. So. We'll have a few days to complete this uh, ZH, which looks like a fantastic card uh, for a free card. So ZH has an 85 base card. He has a few specials, like uh, he has already an inform. He has a, a UCL nominee, and he also has a team of the tournament, I believe, card to an 87, um, which is very cheap. I think somewhere around 20k. But this one has um, a three ratings upgrade from that uh, to a 90 card. Uh, about 30 uh, base stats and about 115 game stats, with the biggest one being in shooting. I think he has like plus 12 uh, base stats upgraded there. Um, uh, four or five pace, four or five passing. So um, even though it's a small upgrade, uh, it's a big upgrade for the card itself. And it looks very, very nice now on his face stats. Uh, with uh, always the only problem on uh, ZH being his weak foot, which is two star. Uh, something like a Di Maria uh, kind of thing. Uh, so let's have a look. It's He's 181, so he's around 6 feet with high-medium work rates, which is very nice for a CM or a CAM, more likely, uh, with a, a left foot, 2-star weak foot, and 4-star skills. So right away we see that uh, the only thing that is holding this card back uh, is going to be his uh, left foot. And uh, also, uh, the league, I won't say that much because now Eredivisie has a lot of special cars and you can easily uh, sort of make a hybrid, if not a full team, but you can easily make a hybrid with some good players that Eredivisie has. So he's not that hard to put in a team now and link him up. Um, as we go into the details, we can see his pace is overall 87 with acceleration to 90 and sprint speed to 83. Um, I already applied a Hawk. I wasn't too sure about this card. It looks to be very complete in the uh, areas that you need him, like shooting, passing, and dribbling. Um, an engine maybe would have given him uh, passing and dribbling, but I think those stats are already good. So I decided to go with the Hawk because of the pace, a bit in shooting to up that finishing, um, and also give him some physical because his uh, strength is a bit low and also up that aggression. So we'll see how that works out. Um, so with the Hawk style, he gets plus 5 in acceleration to 95 and plus 5 to sprint speed to 88. Um, very nice speed now. His shooting is overall 90 with uh, attack positioning 98 to 99 now. Finishing 87 to 92. Shot power 96 to 99. Long shots 92. Vol is 98 and penalty is 90. So he's almost maxed out in the shooting area. Uh, his passing is uh, 95 overall with 98 vision, 92 crossing, 86 free kicks, 95 short pass, 98 long pass, and 99 curve. So this guy looks like he, he knows how to pass. Um, dribbling to 89 with 92 agility, 83 balance, 90 reactions, 88 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 82 composure. So the only thing here might be the balance and composure that are uh, the lowest stats in the areas, but they're not low stats. They're very good stats. They're 83 and 82 are very good. So that's why I didn't think that he needed something here. But we'll see if that affects him in game. Uh, no defending with physical at overall 72, but very low jumping at 40. Goes to 50 with uh, the Hawk. Uh, stamina 91, which is great. Um, it looks like this guy, because I think I'm playing as a camp, uh, 91 stamina is something that you need for a camp. Uh, strength 63 to 68 now, a bit of improvement there. I would have liked uh, that to have gone to 70, but 68 should be sort of okay. And aggression 79 to 89 now. So hopefully that aggression might make up for a bit of the loss in strength that he doesn't have. Uh, this card looks very good. It looks like a, an attacking CM, uh, but more likely it looks like a cam or maybe somebody that you can play as a wide cam. Um, not really a CM because he doesn't really have any defending, very low interceptions, very low standing tackle, and the rest, like no defensive awareness, no slide tackle. So not really a box-to-box -box CM you want to play. Uh, more of a cam or a wide cam or even a winger is uh, the guy that, uh, this uh, position that you want to play this guy. So we're going to go into two games of uh, foot champs. Uh, we're going to play him as a central cam, and then we're going to play him as a wide cam, sort of a winger. 
and see how we play in uh, those two positions. All right, so here we go with our first game. Uh, very nice uh, red Pepe there. Um, Lineker, Kent, um, and Mane. So very fast attack, very, very fast. Um, so we'll see, we'll have a, probably a good game. Uh, we're going to go into this game in the 4 2 3 1 formation, and we're going to play Hakim Ziyech as a uh, central cap. Yeah, get it. Oh no! With his weak foot. Get it. Oh my god, the edge, what? No. Come on, the edge. Give me a good pass. Alright, so uh, very bad first half. This guy's playing five at the back, drop back. It's very hard for me to break down. Uh, let's see. Um, he's not playing five at the back, but he's playing a drop. Uh, what's it called? Drop between the defenders. I think he's playing uh, Zadov in that role, where he's dropping between uh, the defenders, so they're becoming five. Anyways, we're here with, uh, for Ziyech, which uh, had a very bad first half. One failed shot, 9-11 passes, 10 of 12 dribbles, no tackles. Um, we had a good chance with him, but he hit it with that right foot, which is very bad. Two-star weak foot, that's why I don't like players like these. But we'll see if we can do something uh, in the second half. Okay. Now. Get it. I had a shot. 99 power, 2-1. Get it, Kent. Get it. Yes, there we go. 2-2, two, two. very quickly. We equalize. No. What a bad pass that was. No. Get it. Yeah. No! Yes. Shit. Oh my god. And dabbing as well. Well, good game. As you can see, from 5 and 1, I believe it was the shots on the first half. I only had one shot. We went to. 9 and 10 before he scored that goal so I played all the second half by myself and I deserved to score a goal but he got the goal anyways this is how foot champions go uh, let's have a look at this Ziyech um, it was a tough first half because like I said he was playing drop back uh, with uh, uh, CM dropping between the defenders so they were five at the back very hard to break through so I changed the, the uh, instructions and uh, went on fast build-up to get more speed, um, which worked in my favor for the second half. Um, I believe I should have won that game, but you never get what you deserve. So uh, we played a lot better in the second half. That's why his rating is so high, 8.3, which is the highest one. Yeah, well, him with Kent and Morales did all the work um, and the attack. Uh, one on three shots on target. If we had taken that shot with uh, his uh, preferred foot on the first half, we would have scored that goal. Uh, he took it with his right and it was a complete waste um, with his two-star weak foot. Uh, 22 and 26 passes and 17 and 19 dribbles and uh, no tackles, obviously nothing else. His fitness is minus five, but he was fine with his fitness. Uh, 
it was a bit low, but it was fine for 90 minutes. Uh, I think it was a good first game uh, for ZH. Uh, good in the middle, but that two-star weak foot is sort of a uh, put off for me. So we're going to go into another game and try him as a uh, wide cam this time. Um, maybe play him on the right so we can have his uh, left foot uh, to maybe take some finesse shots or something like that when we uh, cut in the uh, area. All right, so here we go with our second team. <laughs> a great team with Messi, Inform, Ronaldo, Petit, Draguinho, Paulinho. Let's see. What the hell? <laughs> what a game. Go. Oh. Hit it. There we go. Hit it back? No. Better. Alright, another tough opponent with uh, dropping back. But let's check out Zietz on the wing. 6.6. .6, not a lot. Um, one on two passes and one on one dribbles. Really not much there on the wing, so let's see what we can do in the second half. Offside. No offside? Go. Go. Yes. There we go. 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 Hit it. Yes. Yes, there we go. Go. Go, Zich, go. Any speed? Not enough, though. Any fouls? Yes. Let's go. Good ball. Oh, come on, Zich. Come on. Give me some speed. No. Pass it? Yes. No. He saved it. All right, another tough comeback. Uh, <laughs> came back from 1-0. 2-1 to win it 2-3. It's a perfect 10 for Morales. The edge not that great on the wing. He doesn't have the speed there. Um, I don't know, maybe a hunter to help him out there, but that's just plus five, plus five. I didn't see that the difference was uh, that small uh, and that plus five will help him much, but um, four and five passes, three and four dribbles, one tail cross. Uh, no, not that great in this role. So um, I didn't like him as much in this role as uh, the camp, but let's go back and have a look at this card. All right, so Hakim Ziyech, uh, player moments, uh, 90 rating. I don't know, I was uh, more excited probably than I should have been. Uh, I thought that maybe with stats like these, uh, this two-star weak foot, um, would not be a thing but then when i went into the first game i remembered that uh wasn't it it was a play moments di maria if uh, i'm not mistaken um that i didn't do that card because of that two star weak foot and because i had um a red di maria he's uh, 87 version and i played him for quite a few games um as a starter as a super sub and uh, it was always that um that weak foot that uh when you needed a good shot and you couldn't turn on his good foot, um, it, it wasn't there. Uh, the opponents, uh, the, a, a good opponent will read your player and if he knows that you're playing Di Maria, he will cover the, the, the side that you're going to shoot. So it makes it hard with that player to uh, kind of get in position. It's the same with uh, this ZH. Um, because of that two-star weak foot, realistically, you can't really shoot anything near the, the uh, goal. Uh, you might get uh, one or two lucky shots, but uh, you won't be getting any shots near the, the, the uh, goal. So you only need to shoot with the left foot, and that is a problem. Because um, you can't depend on your attackers to only have one um, a good uh, foot. You need to have two. That's why I prefer the four-star uh, weak foots for all my attackers, so my cams. Uh, so I don't have to uh, find a favorable side to shoot. Uh, when I have the chance, I wanted to shoot um, on the side that the chance uh, presents itself and not uh, try to turn around 
uh, and give uh, the opponent a chance to uh, cut me with his center back or, or with his defender. Uh, so that's a big uh, step back for him, that weak foot. And also the pace, uh, especially on the wing, as you would see a few times when I try to run him down the wing with 95 acceleration, you would expect him to start running a lot faster and uh, make a distance there. Um, his sprint speed is 88, so that's good enough. Uh, now, if you went with like a hunter, he would have gone to 99 and 93. I don't know if that plus four in acceleration and plus five in sprint speed would have made that much difference. Um, maybe it's another chem style that you might give him and give him that extra speed there and he might be a lot better but I don't know that kind of put me off uh, his passing with his right foot was also very very bad um, so basically everything you want to do with this player you need to do with his left foot which is uh, such a shame because this is such a, uh, a great card it looks very nice with his shooting his passing his dribbling it looks very good if it had at least a three star that would have been a whole different story like Bernardo Silva that I did uh, I wasn't too impressed at the beginning because he had that three star, but in the first game I played him, he scored three goals and two goals he scored with his right foot, which is his weak foot. Uh, so uh, I knew that uh, it's not a great uh, foot to shoot with three stars, but um, the difference between three and two is um, much bigger than a star. It's very, very uh, big of a difference there. Uh, but then again, this is a free card, you can get him and if you want to try and do an area division uh, team or, or hybrid, um, he's one of the few if not the only good center midfielder, especially at that high rating. I know there are a few more like that Bazaar that I did from uh, the uh, uh, league SPC, which is a great CM, but this guy is more like a cam, but like I said, uh, it's very hard to play a cam on a two-star weak foot. So yeah, you can get him and put him in those kind of teams like Eredivisie hybrids, stuff like that. Or you can use him maybe as a super sub, but I don't think I'll be using him. I don't know if I'm even gonna try to get him. It, he has a 90 card that like, you can use. If you don't like him, you can use him in an SPC because it's free. But I don't know if I want to go uh, the distance to get this card with all the other objectives that are alive right now. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.